Hello and good evening, everybody. I'm Donna from Purple Pinky Promises. I'm running a little behind this evening. Thanks for being patient and waiting for me. I have... <sighs> I actually um, have been playing with hot foil all afternoon because this is hot off the press. <laughs> And um, I started a project and I felt like I ruined it. <laughs> so, and it was a lot of time that I spent on it and I didn't want to waste it because part of it was really pretty and well, you'll see. <laughs> so anyway, that's what we are doing this evening. Um, we are going to play with this hot foil system. I'm a little shook because I'm like was trying to hurry and get myself together and it took me a little bit longer to get myself together. Uh, whew, man, I felt like I was running in circles. I've probably left something in another room somewhere, but I'm out here in the studio this evening because I needed a whole lot more room to stretch out because we're going to be hot foiling and die cutting. And um, yes, and we're playing with these with some new products. And if I make a mistake, then that'll make you feel better because we're human and we all make mistakes. So that's just something that, uh, yeah, that's, I just want you all to, to, my mistakes make you feel better when you make mistakes, right? So ultimately, um, we're human. So tonight, I am going to show you uh, basically what comes in the hot foil system. So that's what I'm gonna, um, explain to you first. And I'm going over this because this was just added to the store yesterday. We have the sale going on right now until midnight tonight. The Spellbinders products are 10% off. So if you see anything um, that you like, um, be sure to take advantage of the sale. Okay. Hi, Lindy. Yay. Hot foil. Yes, I'm on the glimmer train. <laughs> woo woo. <laughs> I avoided it for a while, and then I thought, why would I avoid it? Um, too many people are on the train, I might as well jump on. So the first thing that I want to show you that you get with the, the Glimmer system from Spellbinders is you're going to get this base here. Let me move my stuff out of the way just a little bit better so you can see. So you'll get this. Maybe I need to come out just... There we go. So you'll get this. This is the base and the plate, okay? You'll get both of these. And you'll have to excuse me because this is all new to me. Like my first time this afternoon hot foiling. So I'm getting a little brave coming on here showing you what I learned just from this afternoon. So there's those two things that will come in the hot foil system. You will get a set of two hot foil plates. I'll bring this up a little close so you can see it, the, these really pretty flowers. And this says just a note to say hello. And that, so this part is, um, would be uh, a sentiment. Hi, Dottie. Hello, thanks for joining me. Both Lindy's here, Lindy's on uh, YouTube and Dottie is here on Facebook. Hi guys. Okay, so that comes with the Glimmer Foil system. So they've thrown that in there. So you get this plate, you get the uh, Glimmer Spacer Pad, and you get uh, the Thin Shim. Let's see, what else do we get here? And I hope I haven't left anything out. I think I grabbed everything that I was supposed to. Yes, you get this um, mat so that you can put your hot, hot stuff on it and to let it cool off. And then you get this really cool magnetic piece. Whoops, if it would work if, um, if it wasn't stuck. There we go. So this magnetic piece so that you don't have to touch your um, plates when they're hot, your little uh, foil plates when they're hot. And so yet yeah, you, and you get a set of foils to play with so that you can actually get started right away. All you need is cardstock. And um, so you get the rainbow and you get the gold. And I've been playing around with the gold today. 
And we're actually going to hot foil uh, a piece. Uh, let's see. So we are, I, I already started on, I pulled out some hot, uh, I pulled out some gold, brushed gold cardstock because I did, when I, I'll tell you what I did. I'll explain what happened here. So, so that's there just in case we need it. Here's my card base. Pop this over there. So what happened was, I, this is called Magnolia Glimmer Boom, Bloom, Booms. <laughs> the Magnolia Glimmer Blooms. And what had happened was I went ahead and I glimmer foiled it and it turned out really pretty. So this is what it looks like when it glimmer foils. It's really pretty. And then there's a die that goes, so this is the plate that you use to create this, okay? And then there's a die that cuts it out. So I, um, I die cut it out after I had glimmer foiled it. And I started coloring, and, and I started, I was going to leave a part of it. As you can see, there's this part up here, and I left that part so that I could color it, you know, live to show you the colors that I used. Well, <laughs> I started coloring, or I started coloring up the leaves, and I did not like what I had done. Advice, don't fill in those leaves with color. Leave them as is. That's just my personal opinion. Okay, so then, so I cut it off. <laughs> I cut the leaves off and I cut it apart and I will, I will color this up, but I feel like that could kind of, you know, go up on dimension behind there. So I didn't want to waste it because it really did turn out very pretty as I colored it and it took me a long time to color it. So um, I did not, definitely did not want to um, waste that. So the colors that I use are from the Space Garden, uh, Alt, Alt New Space Garden set. And the three colors that I used are the Grape Agate, 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 uh, Amethyst, and Pale Mauve. And I'll just kind of hold the colors or the numbers here so that you can, you know, you can get that, um, those numbers. Here, I'll pull them up higher so you can see them. Okay, so those are the alt new um, alcohol markers that I used to make the, the, they turned out so pretty. I mean, I just, I love, I love that mauve um, color. It just turned out just striking. So I didn't want to waste it. And that's the reason that I went ahead and pulled out the brushed gold card stock. I think I'm going to do my leaves and kind of uh, layer them with this instead. I mean, I guess I could hot foil the thing again and put it behind there and I could layer it on layer it on top of that. I could do that. That's an idea. It would probably look a little bit more like the project. I wasn't sure how it would look with, um, I mean, we could try. It doesn't hurt to try, does it? <laughs> right? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, before I make any decisions on that, I am going to go ahead and finish coloring. That's what I'm going to do first. So that's the hot foil system that comes in the box. It's, uh, and of course you get instructions, really good instructions. feel like that these are really good, but there's, if you go to my website um, and you click on the hot foil system, there is, if you scroll down to the bottom of the description, there's more about it. You can click on that link and it takes you to the Spellbinders website and you can um, watch some videos that they demo on that. But I'm going to do a demo tonight so you can refer back to this too, as long as I do it decently. <laughs> right? Okay. So there's that. So let's just go ahead and before we move um, forward, I might still do some leaves in that way anyway. So with some brush gold, I might. It doesn't hurt. Okay, let's see, where is my colors? All right, so just to let you know, the alcohol markers did not affect the, um, the coloring at all. It doesn't take it off, it doesn't affect it. It's, 
it's pretty awesome. I was pretty happy to find out that no impact whatsoever. I mean, I tried not to go over, but um, I didn't have any issues at all with it. I am going to trim that up a little bit better, though. Let's see. Just right down here at the bottom, I'm going to trim it to where it just kind of goes around just a little bit better so it's not so abrupt. Even though it's probably in, not going to end up showing. Okay, so I'm starting out with my lightest color, which is the Pale Mauve, and I'm just going to go over the whole thing. And, I mean, you can, you do your coloring your way, but this is how I do mine. So I'm just going in here like so. How is everybody doing this evening? This is a way for me to kind of catch my breath, too. Um, I had a pretty relaxing day. Uh... I've been entering products. I'm still not done entering products. I've got some honeybee stuff that needs to go into the store. It just takes time to do all of that. Um, but yeah, I've um, it's not been a really stressful day, I wouldn't say. We stopped in at the store to pick out some paint colors for the walls of the store, which is fun and exciting. We talked a little bit about plans for where things are gonna go and what we're gonna do and whatnot. So it's been a very productive day. And then about, oh, I'd say it was about four o'clock, I thought, oh, I'm gonna pull out that glimmer system. I think we'll do some tonight. <laughs> So I've been glimmering since about four o'clock or so. <laughs> anyway, all right, so I'm gonna take my next darkest color, which is the amethyst, and I'm gonna go, uh, I'm, gonna go I'm gonna start at the bottom and come up pretty far. And I think I might leave my little, some of my little spots. I might leave them be, but some of them I won't. Some of them I will blend, I want blended. I think I do want this blended. And, okay, now we're going to take our dark color, and I'm going to go at the very bottom, add some color, and then I'll pull out that second color again. I'm going to bring it up quite a bit, and I'll just come down and blend. Some, some of this I feel like I'm just going to go back over what I did, but that's okay. All right. And now I'm going to go back with this middle color again. The darkest color, of course, is the gray back eight. So this middle, whoops, wrong line, wrong tip. Hi, Krista. How are you? Thanks for joining me. Good evening. Krista is on Facebook. Okay. John's not with us this evening. He's not home. Okay, let's see. Let's pull this out. So what I'm basically doing is I'm just pulling up, a, taking that dark, that darker color and just kind of pulling it out and blending it. That's what I'm doing here. So I'm just blending it up. Um, I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing and my table is probably a little too shiny. Let's 
Let's pull this up a little. There we go. That's a little better, right? So, we're hot foiling tonight, Krista. <laughs> I think it's your fault that I joined this train. Let's blame it. Let's all blame it on Krista. <laughs> I was on the fence and I was still on the fence after it, even after I heard your conversation the last time you were here um, about it, I was still on the fence. So um, now I'm gonna take my lighter color and I'm just gonna kind of blend from there. And I'll, I, basically what I do is I just go back and forth until I'm happy, until I achieve that look that I'm looking for. Um, so sometimes it takes a little while. And that spot, I just might leave the way it is there over there at the side, but I'm gonna come back with my middle color and I'm gonna bring it up a little right here and here, just a little there and there. Get the very light color. Ah! <laughs> You're blaming it on Shelly, huh? Was it Shelly? I, now you got me confused. Which one of you was on the glimmer train already? Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm easily confused. Don't take advantage of that, Krista. <laughs> All right. There it is. I'll pull it up here so you can see it. Shelly bought one. Okay, so it was Shelly. I thought it was you, Krista. Okay, so I knew one of you guys had done that. So there it is. Uh, be still. Let it focus. Is it still not focusing very well? Okay, there we go. So here we are. Okay. Now, there it is. Um, somehow, some way, this is going to work out, folks. Messed it up, but, uh, oh, thank you, Krista. <laughs> Sorry I blamed you for the glimmer train. <laughs> I couldn't remember who it was that did that. That's funny. Okay. Um, I was sitting over here, and I swear it was you. You were sitting over there, and I swear it was you that had said something, but maybe it was, maybe it was Shelly. <laughs> if you say it was Shelly, then I believe you. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Shelly. If you watch this, on the replay. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Shelly. <laughs> Not only did you convince me to get the uh, the system, but now, uh, now I'm all confused. All right. Um, I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to die cut some leaves to kind of see where we're at with, um, with all of that. And I pulled out the Happy Blooms because there's a lot of leaves in here, and I kind of felt like these big uh, gold leaves would, or these big leaf dies would work really nice with it. Um, I think maybe, hmm, which ones, which ones? These and that should work, shouldn't it? Shouldn't that work, you think? I think it'll work. We'll, we'll do two passes and see what we get with that. Okay, so let's pull this over here. Pull this out. Take that out. That'll help save some art tonight. Woo! You, did you want that in your face? <laughs> Come on. I'm trying to get to, to zoom out, but it's not paying attention to me. There we go. Okay. Um, we need some gold. Right, yeah, we'll just take a little piece of gold, tape that right on, like so. <laughs> Put 
Poor Shelly. We're really, I'm going to really give her a hard time. It's not the die set that was on the cards I looked at last time. Um, these, actually, these are the dies. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, um, I think you were looking at these. I think I showed everybody these dies that hadn't come in yet. And they've come in. These are the Be Bold Blooms. Um, let me see, Krista. Hold on one second. I think, was it this card? Was it, was it the, are, were these the cards that I showed you with those on them? Is that what we're talking about? These are the Be Bold Blooms. Were these the ones I showed you? I think that was it. And th yeah, if that if these are the cards, then yes. Yes, these are be bold blooms, and they are in. Yes, yay! Finally, okay. So here is. Pass number one. I still think these will be pretty because um, these dies are gorgeous. And I just think that the whole gold will look just fine with it. But we might try and see. We might gold foil. Ooh, those are pretty. That's a different gold look. But I think it works. I still think it works. Okay. We might use these as, whoops, we don't want to go off there. We need to stay on the paper. We definitely want another big leaf. So I feel like, let's see. Let's try this. I'm such, I can serve paper like crazy when it comes to these gold papers. Um, I try to get them all on there as best as I can. I try to conserve it as much as I can. Okay, I think we got it. However, I'm afraid that's going to shim. Shimmy. <laughs> shimmy, shimmy. Cocoa puff. All right. It's an earthquake, guys. <laughs> These tables shake when we get to moving them. All right, so there we go. And I think I might do one more big, and then that will be it, just in case. All right, here's my... We have just the piece for that. Yes, we do. Yep, we do. All right. Now, now we're going to get the hot boiling. it'll be pretty. I still think it'll be pretty. We'll tuck those leaves in. I think it'll turn out just nice. Okay. So here we go. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to, um, and just an FYI, I, I handled this with kid gloves. I was really nervous about, you know, forcing it in or doing something. And so <laughs> it's kind of, you kind of just barely lift and push, just like barely. We're going to turn it on. And, of course, we get all the fun flashing lights. And um, as soon as it's ready for me to put down my plate, which I'm going to go ahead and do 
Um, I am going to go ahead and do another one of these just, just because. Uh, when your uh, platform is ready for this to go down, then um, this light will come on. And no, when this, this is ready, this will go on. Then we'll put this down and then the timer. Sorry guys, I'm waiting for the platform to be ready. Okay, so <laughs> while we wait, I might as well just open up and get stuff prepped for the next set. And I might as well go ahead and get my foil cut. That's the Krista that's been on Facebook for your live shows. Didn't she? No, it's not your niece. They're not my niece. No. Uh -uh. She is Krista with a C-H. And my niece is Krista with a K. Yeah. So that's not Krista. My Krista. Um, our niece's name, Krista. We have a niece named Krista. And she is the... She's a step older than Jordan, so my daughter is the youngest of John's, well, she's the youngest on both sides, but on John's side of the family, my daughter is the youngest, and then my son is the next youngest, and then Krista is bright, um, the next one up, and Krista and Jordan and Alyssa kind of grew up together, so, um, and she came here uh, to visit with us when she was growing up. So, and every time we would go up there, the kids just, they hung out quite a bit. So, <laughs> that's that's our Krista. <laughs> so, I kind of feel like you could arrange this the way you want it to um, for the, for hot boiling purposes. I should turn this this way. Um, I really didn't worry too much because I was going to die cut it. And plus, you can... Here's just a little tip, guys. You can erase. You can actually erase. Yes, she does have a beautiful name. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, you can erase anything that um, actually comes on, gets on your card stock. So I'm not going to worry about trimming it just because I'm not. It's a little fiddly. And... Um, so I decided we I was going to do birthday and happy hot foil those two pieces and now we could hot foil a piece we actually could hot foil this let's look at this that would take measuring and making sure that everything is on there the way that we want it to be and um set that here hmm we could do that we could actually no that's not a bad idea i think i saw something about this we're gonna give it a whirl why not right why shouldn't we we're gonna give it a whirl I'm brave. So to do that, you need to tape it like a hinge, I think. Right? I'm thinking. Might take me a hot minute. Yep, because you're going to put your foil on right here. Yep. Okay. So we're going to hinge that. We'll come back to that. <laughs> We'll come back to that. So let's do happy and birthday, right? Yes, birthday. So, and I am going to die cut that. So, oh, there it is. It's green. Okay. Now that means we're going to put this down like so. Cut off a piece of cardstock so that we can capture that. Is that going to be big enough? Oh, we need to hit our timer so that we know when it's hot enough for us to put our stuff down. I think that's going to fit. I'm pretty sure it will. If it covers the die, it'll fit. Yep, it'll fit. Okay. Yay. All right, 
So we are waiting for that to turn a solid green. And then, and see, so we even have our handy dandy instructions here. In case you forget, you can always do that. So you can always uh, check your instructions. And um, so when that goes solid, then we can put down our foil on top. So your design goes up, foil faces the, uh, the actual design, the face up. So you want the, I call it the ugly side to look at you. <laughs> so we're heating this up. That's, Lindy is saying, um, that's why I was confused about the spelling. I was certain that your niece's name was spelled K-R-I-S-T-A. And when you said it was C-H, I was a little lost. <laughs> that makes sense that you're lost. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to take our foil and we're going to put it down on top of our ooh, hot foil piece. Please, oh, oh, oh. do we need to go a real different direction to catch it all? Well, we got to do that. Got to do this right. Hmm. I feel like I'm not going to get it, guys. I apologize. And now I feel like I have some pieces missing. Okay. So, let's get a bigger piece. Let's just not worry about conserving it. This is what came in the pack for free. So, yep, let's get a bigger piece. <laughs> I thought I had a big enough piece to cover it all. But that one can be used for a different one. We can do that maybe for our birthday. Okay, now we've got it. So we cover that. And now we're going to take our cardstock and we're going to cover... Actually, you're supposed to pop it out. You're going to pull out your platform, put down your card stuff. Ah, see, it moved. <laughs> but I think I'm covered. Okay. And then, where did I put all that? There they are. So we've got this down. This is our thin shim. This is our spacer, but I realized that I need an extra shim. So I'm going to put that cardstock there for extra shim. And we're going to switch out here. I'm going to move this to the Big Shop platform. So on the website, you will see where all of this actually, there's, there's a list of compatible machines. So, um, there we go, there we go. Okay. <laughs> there's a list of compatible machines on the website listed, okay. So the first thing that I learned is go slow. You don't need to rush it. Just let it go through. And you can even hear it go like it's sizzling. So going slow and then bringing it back through one more time. a few shows ago. I'm trying to catch up on conversation. Hi, uh, it, it's Kim. Hi, Kim. Yes, hi, Kim. We've been very busy with doctors and baking me birds. We were all good, though. Sorry, not been on lately. You're fine. Oh, absolutely fine. I'm just happy to have you here this evening. And Linda, good evening. I missed the beginning. I'll have to go back and watch. We're hot boiling. <laughs> yes, we're hot boiling. Okay. So now I am going to take this off. Okay. And we're going to return this to the platform. You don't have to plug it back in. Just let's sit it on the, the platform. 
And now it's, and I'm gonna move this out of the way. Now you can see why I needed all this room. <laughs> so now we're gonna do the big reveal. So there we have it. It's so pretty. It turned out nice. So there it is. I don't know if you can see it with the shadows and everything, but it turned out really pretty. It's really nice. Okay. So now, um, so with the shim, it helps to um, get a little better impression. Also running it through twice. I have a few missed spots here, but I don't think it's the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm pretty happy. You could also, if you, um, I'm planning on at some point in the future, putting one of the plain, thank you, Krista, one of the plain uh, plates so that you can actually use the, other space that's left over, you can put it on another card so you can get a two for one. So that's a really neat idea with foiling. Okay, so now we take our die and we are going to line it up. And sometimes just holding your mouth straight is key. All right. The foiling, I will have to confess, if you don't want to get on the hot foil train, don't start because <laughs> it is a little addictive. I confess. I'm a little, I, I now know why people say, oh, I just don't want to start. It's cool. <laughs> it is fun and it's cool. All right. Now, I will show people how to do in in the future i will have when i do my classes and stuff i'm going to show people other things that they can do with foil you don't have to actually get a whole foiling system and get on that whole train i understand not wanting to do that because that's kind of how i felt but nevertheless it's something i have to do um i just needed to do it it was i was avoiding it but I understand those who don't want to join that train. And I am going to show you other ways that you can, and don't get your tape on it, just an FYI, because it will pull up your foil. So, just an FYI. There we go. Back and forth, moving here and there. Okay. So now I'm just going to kind of lay these pieces over. So for those of you who are a little... I have a gl glimmer spell on your hot floor system. I got it earlier today. I have not tried it out yet. Well, here you go. This is the this is the video that's going to give you the confidence to pull that puppy out. So earlier I had showed everybody that I had this piece and I I colored in the leaves and I didn't like it. I didn't like how it turned out. So I'm actually going to just Put the, pop this up over it instead, and um, that is exactly what I'm going to do with this. I'm just going to pop it up, and I think it's going to turn out really pretty. I like it. Yay. Now, I have a few stray spots. I'm not going to get fussy about that. Um, I, I'll tell you what I think it was is that I didn't quickly move to the die cutting. I kind of lingered just a little bit when I was putting it on and everything. So um, if you quickly get it on there while it's really, really hot, you should be good. Okay, now I am gonna show you that this is really cool so that you don't have to actually, come on. Why isn't that coming up? There we go. This is really cool. This picks it up so that it you don't have to touch it when it's hot. You don't have to um, worry about getting your hands close to that hot plate. That's the point. And then you set your stuff here to cool off on one of these um, pads here. So we don't need that anymore. I'm going to move that over. So now we're going to do our birthday and we're going to do our happy. And I'm going to stick that down on this piece of paper. Yeah, since we have this other one already ready to go. So I'm going to plug this back in. 
we'll get our foil out and ready to go for our next project. So we're just gonna hot foil like crazy tonight. So I'm plugging that in. We'll wait till it flashes and I'll just set it down here and kind of wait for it to flash and get my piece of foil ready to go. So I'm gonna take this and just kind of lay it down here. It's best using big scissors because you don't have to make so many cuts. Hello, if you can leave it alone and let it lay down and not chase it everywhere. <laughs> okay, so if you remember, this is the part that we are going to lay down. So we're actually going to go ahead and do this ahead of time. straight so maybe it'd be better if we did let's just do that the pretty part faces the actual get that out of the way there we go that's better so we'll do this and yes Um, we're, this is kind of an experiment here, making just to see if the, um, well, it heats up. Okay. We'll wait for it to heat up. It's still not, it's still not green yet. <laughs> so once it turns green, I will actually set it down and just let it heat up just like that with it on there. We'll see. We'll see how it works. It may not work. <laughs> Cross our fingers. So while we're waiting for that, let's see. Where is, where's my stuff? We can go ahead and pop this up. I'm going to go ahead and pop it up on dimension here. Some foam. Oh, it's green. But Let's just go ahead. Let's wait. Let's do this while it's ready. So I'm gonna go, I'm setting this down on top of here. I'll show you what I'm doing here. So I just set it down right on top of there. I'm gonna set my timer on. And once that timer we, can, we actually can just do this. We don't have to, whoops, we don't want to do that. Hmm. It's kind of hinged in there good. So we're just going to see what we get. It's okay to experiment, right? It's always, it's always good to experiment to see what happens, to see what kind of results you get. So when it turns solid, it'll be ready for me to pull off. But typically they say not to put this on until the timer is solid and then you put it on and then you run it through. But we'll see. Maybe that's because it might burn the paper. I don't know. It's ready, so we're going to unhook it here, and we're going to put all of this on, just like so. And I'm going to go ahead and run it through just like I did before. I'm not going to move stuff back and forth. I'm running it through. Well, I can. I don't know if any of you got, some of you may not have seen this yet. So it's on here. I'll just show you one more time. So you're going to go through slow. And one of the reasons you need to go 
slow is because it can shift. You can get some shifting, and I think we had some shifting that happened. And then back through again. Just hoping. It doesn't hurt to do it again, does it? We can go back through one more time. I still hear it. Sizzle, sizzle. One more. Okay, and then we will be done. Because I still hear it. All right. Okay. So I'm going to take these plates off of here. I'm going to remove this. Maybe. <laughs> um, maybe we should use our little handy dandy tool to get that off of there. I'm going to set it on here. There we go. Okay. And now we have our big reveal. Maybe. Come on, there we go. We have it. Except for down at the top, it did not foil like I wanted it to. But I'm okay with that. These are supposedly not, they're warm to touch. Yeah, which is fine. It's just warm to touch. So, not really sure. I'd have to play around with it some more to kind of figure out exactly how to get that to work a little better, but I feel like we could stick our flowers in such a way that it really doesn't impede so much. I mean, we could stick some, some of our other leaves down here to where you can't really tell. Yeah, we can work with it. I'm good with it. Now I wanna show you something with this, and then we'll do our sentiment. So, there is a little bit of foil right there in the corner. And if you get foil on your project and you don't want foil on your project, you can take one of these erasers and you can get it off. It comes off. And just be careful that you don't get your other. That's why I said, Watch out with your uh, your tape because it will pull it up. But I'm okay. It's just such a teensy weensy little bit. It's not a big deal to me. All right. Yay. Okay. Happiness. Let's do our sentiments and put this card together. I feel like it's going to be a pretty one. All right, let's get this heated up. And so here's a little tip. I could use that little piece, but we can also use this part in the middle so we don't waste any. You can use that from it. Um, to get, I can cut that off in the middle, but I'm going to push the easy button. And where's my card stock? Oh, it's this. So cut off a piece here. So like so, yep. 
ready, Brady. I say weird stuff, you guys. <laughs> and we're waiting for it. So now we can work on getting these popped up. So let's do it. So I'm going to put all this over here. So out of the way. This is a good place for that. Whoops, we're going to have to put glue because it's the end of the, the roll. Is that going to work? Nothing going to show? Perfect. Let's glue that down. Yay. That's actually kind of a cool little look. One of these has a, I hope I grabbed the one that has, does not. We shall return. We shall return. I need the one that has. This one's not clogged up anyway. Just grab one that's not clogged. So hopefully this inspires you, Kim, to pull out your glimmer foil system. Yay. All right. And where are we? <laughs> there it is. Like trying to figure out where. are on here. That's pretty. See, sometimes we make mistakes and the mistake ends up being a good one. We're happy that we made the mistake. It wouldn't have led us to the result that we got if we didn't make the mistake. Yay. All right. Where's that behind there. Put some glue on there. That's kind of exciting. I'm kind of happy. <laughs> well, what do you know? I was so disappointed in it, and now it's kind of turned out to be a good thing. I love happy accidents. That's really pretty. Let's see. That's really pretty. It's tempting. <laughs> uh, do I want to add these leaves after all? I don't know if I want to. I don't know. I was thinking that the they could kind of cover up the the foiling, the lack of foiling down here. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what we got. Okay, this is when you guys come in. I'm almost tempted to say that the sentiment could kind of come down there instead, but do you think we need the leaves, the extra leaves, yes or no? What do you think? They're, they're kind of pretty. They're kind of different. I kind of like them up here. I don't know. What do you guys think? Yes, no, maybe. I'm 
I'm going to pull them up closer. It's The lights are so bright in here. It's kind of hard to see. Um, do you like that? They're kind of, they're not horribly off, but they are two different kinds of gold. Just saying. One's a little more warm and the other one's a little bit more bright. But I'm, I don't know that it's the worst looking thing I've ever seen. Um, I'm going to kind of let you guys tell me what you think on adding those extra gold leaves. Yes or no. <laughs> Moving it back and forth so you can kind of catch it to see what you think. Okay. All right. Let's hot foil. You. I'm so glad you think it's pretty. I like, you like them? I do too. I kind of like those extra leaves. They just kind of add a little extra something, something to them, uh, to the whole project. So let's stick this happy on here too. I don't want that too close together, but anybody else want to chime in and see what you think about that? Maybe we got just a smidgen closer. I think the happy, there's a die that cuts out the happy. I am going to put, or not the bir happy, I meant birthday. So we're going to cut out um, we're going to die cut the birthday. This is the one I want. that that's uh, okay so you like it too yay okay two votes for yes I I like it it's not I mean they're different but I don't think it looks bad sometimes your golds can look a little off but that's not a bad to me it's not a bad thing all right it's ready to go so we're gonna put this down over that And we're going to undock. Hold on just a sec, folks. Where did it? Oh, it's over here on the floor. I was like, where is it? Okay, now we put, we undock. We're going to put our cardstock down. No moving. There we go. And we're going to put this down. And we're going to, I need that other piece of shim. We'll put that there. And we'll put this here. And we'll fold this up. So we'll switch out. And just roll it through. Slow. I like to listen for the fry. <laughs> to see if I can hear it. Then we'll come back through. Did I do it wrong, you guys? Did I put it on the wrong way? Uh, you know that moment when you go, did I do it wrong? It's so funny because if you watch the Spellbinders video, it act, there's one of them that actually shows how they hot foiled their plate. So, so I was talking, so now I was like, oh my gosh, did I actually do it the right way? Or I did it right. <laughs> That's a scary moment. Okay. So, I'm going to pull this through. We'll take this and pull it off. Looks like we got it. 
Set this over here on the dock. I'm going to leave this here because we're, I don't know. I was thinking no, but I'm outnumbered. <laughs> Lindy, you cracked me. Oh, we shifted. Doggone it. Ah. Well, we at least got the happy out of it, right? Yeah, it shifted. Doggone it. Yeah. Bummer. I was wondering if that's what had happened. Okay, so this is going to be our shim. <laughs> and we're going to get Bertha. I'm still new at this, folks. Thanks for being patient with me. I thought I had it. So let's cut out the happy. Take that happy off of there. You know what I was thinking, though? I just had a thought, you guys. Okay, so I've demoed the, the hot foiling, and now you've seen all the things that can go wrong <laughs> with it. But I'm thinking the birthday doesn't actually even have to be, we don't have to use the birthday. I'm wondering if we were to use the dies for the birthday. Here we go, I'm thinking now. And that can kind of pull our leaves together. Let's, let's see. Let's give that a whirl. All right, where'd you go? Let's try it. So we're just going to do birthday. Where'd you go, birthday? Yep. Boy, am I going to have a die cutting hunt or die hunt after this. I'm trying to see if I have anything else. This will work. This one's smaller. Let's try it. Let's just see what we come up with. <laughs> Lindy, I'm still laughing at you. <laughs> For anybody that knows, Lindy, Lindy's like my best friend. She, she's the one that got, hey, if there's anybody to blame for the glimmer train, let's blame Lindy. She's the one that got me started card making. This is all her fault. <laughs> Every last bit of this is your fault. <laughs> so, oh my goodness. I'm thinking that this might help pull it all together. It's just an idea. It's worth the shot, right? Let's try it. Then, another idea. That just makes me laugh. <laughs> That's funny. That's hilarious. More than just funny, it's hilarious. Um, did I get it? I need to go back through. You know, sometimes it just needs that little extra. Yep, it did. Oh, did I ruin it? You guys, I'm having a bad night here, I think. Yep, I'm having one of those nights, folks. It didn't go back onto the... One more time. It's one of those days where you need to stay out of the craft room. Warning, warning. <laughs> Danger. <laughs> Let's die cut it again. I'm gonna use that day. I can use that day on there for something else. So note to self, die cut it twice and bring it more over to the side, kind of at an angle. When your dies don't always go through the way you want them to, try it. Try them at an angle. And we're gonna 
bend the ends. Yeah, hold your breath. Don't look. This is not the moment to look to see that, that I'm damaging the edges of very expensive cardstock. <laughs> Don't watch. Now we have it. Nope, I am going to use it. I'm going to put that back here. We're going to do a couple more white pieces. We're going to use them as layers. Yep, cardstock everywhere. I have classes here tomorrow too, so I'm just making more work for myself. Is this a good one? Will that fit? Mm, not really. this one. This will work. Get this out. Tim Holtz says, do not leave your paper bits in here and run it through. You can, they can get caught up in the machine. Guilty as charged. <laughs> Lindy says she's guilty as charged. That's funny. Okay. So, one more, then we'll be done. We'll glue those together, and we'll have a little dimension on it. I'm thinking maybe one might even be enough, because that gold foil is... Yeah, I think we'll just go with one layer behind there. All right. Okay. Here we go. So, hmm. so one of these. Turn this machine off. And by the way, it does have a self, like it turns off all by itself. I think. I trim that smidgen on one side. Here I go. Do you ever get started on this and you're like, oh, that's not straight? Longer scissors help. There we go. Maybe. <laughs> so I'm going to glue that on. Just kind of straighten it. Just a little smidgen more. Okay. So we have happy. Bring this up. And then we'll have birthday. Happy. I don't know what we're gonna do about that piece down at the, at the bottom, folks. 
Hmm. My gut says not to be so so much of a perfectionist. And perhaps maybe <laughs> perhaps maybe my gut is right. My other thought is to bring it up kind of like so. Kind of covering it up up here. Kind of like that. And then bringing birthday down here and happy here. I kind of like that. And I'm going to say yes. <laughs> because it works. <laughs> so now let's tuck in those leaves where we want them. And why isn't that cooperating? There we go. And I was going to do a second Oh, we're far away again. Let's get this a little closer and then you don't have to deal with all that glare either. Come on. Sometimes it doesn't want to There we go. Okay. Um, where are we at here? Now. I'm just going to stick that one there and we can tuck the other ones a little easier. Okay, sometimes it calls for a tool, and I'm terrible with them, but tonight we're going for it, because <laughs> I'm on the struggle bus, and just making sure there. I like, I like. <laughs> Y'all are being patient. I'm not really sure what that exclamation point means. I mean, then I don't know what that means. I have an exclamation point at the top of my screen. <laughs> what is happening? should come like up under just like a different angle maybe no maybe right there and then that one can come like so yes or no <laughs> I don't know maybe another one under here or maybe that's enough I think that might be
Yes. Yes, yes. All right, we're committing. This is gonna get committed. What? <laughs> Did I not have glue under there? It's gonna stick to me instead. All right. That wasn't where it was going to be. Yep. And down it goes. Okay. Now we put glue. I'm a glue person because I want wiggle room. Definitely want wiggle room. Okay. There it is. Yep. Yay. Okay. So now we have happy and birthday. And then we're done, folks. I think this card. I did pull out some gems. I, I didn't know if I, I was. I actually had the thought of coloring them to match the project. So let's glue, <clears throat> let's get our glue down. Now, if you ever lose the dot to your eye, that piece right there would work for it. So, I'm just going here and there in places because my glue is going to dry if I take too long. Going over every little nook and cranny. And I think we're good. We got our bases covered. Minus some pieces that need to come out. Here we go. And I'm not going to be too worried if I end up with a shadow, but I, if I do, I want it to be consistent. <laughs> Plus, the background's white, so. But it looks like we got it here. Yay. So it does give it a little bit of dimension. Hip, hip. <laughs> and same technique, just here and there. It's good enough. And I, instead of the dot, saving the dot, you can also use a gem if you want to. That's another idea. Just an FYI. So... All right, it didn't turn out so bad for the struggle that it started out to be. <laughs> so sometimes we gotta press through. I'm gonna bring it here. I 
I would say watch your adhesive too. Pop this up on dimension. You could kind of tuck that as well. I'm not gonna. Where did my dimension go? <laughs> there it is. Just a little smidge. And am I still here, folks? It's been a little bit longer than I wanted it to be, but how did I think that that was that small? Huh, it's actually more like so. There we go. Now we got it. And huh, just a little thought. like that end it, you know when you get on this train of trimming things and it, then it starts to look wonky and off I was thinking about putting a little leaf here A gem on it. And I think I will. Let's put the happy down. Put the happy down. <laughs> Am I still rolling? Yeah, I'm still rolling. up I kind of feel like it does that the leaf or, or the gold does kind of tie it all help the the sentiment in in the die cut kind of helps to tie it together that's just my just my thought All right, I think I will. I think I'm gonna take my alcohol marker and get one of these. What color? I don't know though, that's pretty. Um, let's do one of the tiny ones. Let's color it. So it's just a little tip, you can color with your alcohol markers. I don't know if anybody knows that, but um, you can. You can use your alcohol markers to color your, your gems and get them the color that you want. That's the tip of the day. And then I'm gonna do this bigger one here. Stick it on that leaf. Have another placement. I'm gonna put this on in a card base. Get a little. Can you guys see that? Am I working too far off the screen here? And. See, where are we going to go next? The nice part is that it matches your project. So I think we can bring it right here, right here next to this leaf. 
That makes it kind of nice. There we go. All right. <laughs> Yay. All right. Where's my curve base? <laughs> I knew I had it somewhere. I'm trying to decide if I need more bling. I don't know. Do I? I don't know. Now I'm trying to decide if I need to trim these edges and then pop that base up. I don't know. Sometimes I'm like, I'm afraid to touch it. <laughs> Guess I've already, and I'm not going to because I've already, I've got this on dimension. So I'm not going to. Thank you, Krista. Um, so just an FYI, before you start laying your stuff down, if you decide that you don't want it to be an A2 card front, <clears throat> you can, you, you'll need to trim it first before you lay anything down. I have a little piece of glue there in the corner that I don't. first. Oh no, I think that's our glimmer. It is our glimmer. All right, I'm just going to lay down. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My husband is home and the kitty cats came running down the stairs to greet him. It may have just been one of them. One of the our little um, Tora, she is a daddy's girl. She loves her daddy. Oh, my goodness. She is so cute. She's so smart, and she's just so stinking cute. And there we have it. Done, done, done. There's our card. Hey, hon, I'm still alive. Hello. <laughs> He's like, oh, no, come on in. No, it's okay. You can come on in. It's all right. <laughs> He's like, oh, mortified. No, I'm still, uh, no, I'm still working on it. What do you think? Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Say hi, everybody. You're right there. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know what? You, have everybody. you ever read the book, Give a Pig a Pancake? I'm not saying he's a pig. But oh, um, <laughs> this is the guy. Like, if you get him started, he'll never stop. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's about right. I love it. Thank you. It's very beautiful. Yeah. Thanks. I, like I really like it. I do, too. You like the, yeah. Yes. It turned out pretty. Definitely. Krista says, hi, John. Hi, Krista. <laughs> All right, that's not your niece, Krista. That's, right. Yeah, okay. I, I was looking at the last name. Yep. 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 Okay. Well, Yay. bye, everybody. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> thanks for joining me. Um, well, it's been a long one, but thanks for hanging in there with me. Hopefully, it was, it was worth it. Hopefully, you learned something. Anyway, thanks a lot. And, guys, have a great rest of your week and a great rest of your week. Oh, and the, have a great weekend. Have a blessed... A blessed rest of your week and a blessed rest of the weekend. So, it's not weekend yet. It's almost there. You're almost there. Wow. <laughs> all right. Take care, guys. Thanks for all of your input. Thanks for joining. I really, I just want to tell you. Oh, by the way, the sale. Don't forget the sale. It's already factored in. You don't have to have any kind of special code. If you want information, on the sale. This is the Spellbinder sale. Um, it is 10% off until midnight tonight. Go and subscribe at my website. Go down to the bottom and put your email in to subscribe. And um, if I discover that you have, oh, thank you, Lindy. <laughs> Kim says hi. <laughs> He left. Anyway, um, if you decide that you want the information on the Spellbinder sale, um, you can send me an email as well as subscribe and I'll make sure that you get the, uh, well, no, if you subscribe, um, 
to my email, you will get the information on the other sales in the future. But just go ahead. If you go into my website and you put Spellbinder stuff in your cart at checkout, it will show that it's 10% off. You don't have to subscribe, but it's good for you to subscribe because then you get the information for future stuff. Anyway, oh, thank you, Kim. Oh, I'm glad you learned something. Yay, that makes me happy. That's what I want. That's what I'm here for, to inspire you, to teach you something new, or to at least give you a little tip that can help you along your craft.